They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. You'll you Can't be serious. There are definitely more rebels at Ever After High than royals. Wanna bet? What about Apple White? She upholds royal tradition while always being the fairest of them all. Sure, but Rebel Raven Queen happens to be rewriting her destiny. Well, Briar Beauty is a royal through and through. Ceres Hood, total rebel. Blondie Locks, Ash Linella. Cedarwood, Hunter Huntsman. Holly O'Hare. Ah, uh, Poppy O'Hare. <laughs> Cheshire. She's kind of hard to categorize. Kitty? Uh, well, she's obviously a rebel. Kitty Cheshire is a royal. You know, let's just watch Kitty, shall we? And we'll see that she's a rebel. Royal. That's Kitty playing on the royal croquet team. I'm right. Uh-uh, but mixing things up, that's pretty rebellious. <laughs> well, there she is having tea with Duchess Swan, who is a royal. In Madeline Hatter's very rebellious Wonderland tea shop. And look, only a rebel would cause this kind of trouble in class. Being mischievous is Kitty following her story, which all good royals do. Hey, Kitty. <laughs> Can I ask you something? See, the narrators have been watching you, and, and they want to know if I'm a royal or a rebel. She knew? Oh, no fair. Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell them, but where's the fun in that? Chaos is keeping people guessing, and that makes this kitty purr. <laughs> Time for a cat nap. I'm confused. Are there more rebels or royals? Um, hey, there's Duchess Swan. Total royal. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, what about Madeline Hatter herself? You can't get any more rebellious than that. Am I right, or am I right? I'm right. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. You'll you more and Raven Queen, what evil act are you going to perform for this year's talent show? No, 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 Miss Queen. This music is too nice. If you will not give a performance suitable to a student of your destiny... Since my story didn't exactly go poof, I think it's safe to change it up. <laughs> Do something, you know, not evil. Nevertheless, Sparrow Hood has already signed up to play the guitar. Sparrow's gonna show you a big time... But I've been practicing my guitar solo for a month. Practice is for losers. Oh! oh bring it on like very song. Oh, I mean. That's more evil. After the unfortunate events of Legacy Day, some students are questioning our lesser school legends. 
Maybe if a certain student used her mirror cast to prove the school legends to be true... Great idea! I'll prove those legends are just right. Hello, fellow fairy tales! With me today is Cedar Wood, and she's gonna help me prove one of those school legends is totally true! Troll tears make awesome shampoo! <gasps> Wait a splinter. Maybe we didn't use enough? We're going to make this just right. Blondie, stop it! <gasps> See? What did I tell you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're here in the Charmatorium to prove another of the school legends. Giants are terrible dancers. Helping me out is Duchess Swan. And Tiny. And a one and a two. But we're supposed to be proving the legends are true. Giants can't dance. Uh, my eyes, I can't see. I'm okay. The legend is proved. With the help of Sparrow Hood, we are going to prove playing just the right song will soothe a fearsome griffin into leaving its nest. True! Go! Fly away! <laughs> By my demo on the mirror net, it's totally outlawed. <laughs> Oh. Headmaster, the show is going great! And I've got so many excellent ideas for more episodes. We can prove that unicorns are really violent. The beanstalks have the sharpest thorns. Oh. Another morning at Ever After High, as the students are getting fairest for another typical day. Typical? There's nothing typical about this day. <laughs> is there anything more perfectly charming than my birthday? Um, my birthday? You're such a kidder. I mean, does the entire school celebrate your birthday with a royal cake baking contest? It's not just the royals in the baking contest this year. I'm gonna make you the most excellent apple crumb cake. <laughs> you mean poison apple crumb cake. You wouldn't be the daughter of the evil queen if you didn't try to poison me. Don't you remember Legacy Day? I'm writing my own destiny now. And my cake is just gonna have sugar and cinnamon and a little bit of love. Can you believe it? Raven isn't going to try to poison me. <sighs> I need an herbal potion soak. I wish there was something we could do. Yeah, but it's not like you can make Raven poison her. <gasps> Great idea, Ash. I'll pour a little creature concoction into Raven's cake, and Apple will think Raven tried to poison her. We could just get her some cute shoes or something. Oh, daring. A cake with a picture of you on it. <laughs> How charming. And now we have Raven's cake. Taste it. Um, Apple, have you forgotten? I'm your official taster. I have to make sure these cakes are just right. Oh, wow. It's so moist <coughs> and tender. <coughs> what? Apple, I swear you did try to poison me. Hey, I I'm the one who... Uh, I mean, yes. Way to go, Raven, you bad, evil girl. <laughs> Briar. Um, I gotta fly. <laughs> Aw, why can't I be a phoenix, too? <laughs> oh, well. See ya. Gotta go. Yup, uh, here I go. <laughs> can't answer any questions. Nope. <laughs> I am out of here. Thank you. Oh, no. Where's the caramel? Who are you? You don't work here. You just keep plugging away, haircut boy. Don't mind me. Hey there. Aren't you Faybel Thorne, the head cheerleader at Ever After High? What are you doing working? I'm not working. See, I just snuck in here to snoop around, get some info. You catch my drift? But why? Oh, you know, only because my mom is the dark fairy. The one who wasn't invited to Sleeping Beauty's big birth bash. So she cursed the poor sweet babe to sleep for a hundred years. I just want to fulfill my destiny as the baddest fairy of them all. 
So how about it, handsome? Lend a girl a hand. Handsome? Uh, oh, no. I would delight in assisting you in your quest, fair maiden. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, hey there, little fella. An invitation? I wonder who it's from. Ashlyn, Ella, you and a guest are cordially invited to the Blue Moon Forest Fest. Tonight, the Forest Fest? <gasps> That's like the most exclusive party ever. You can't even find it without an invitation. It says I get to invite someone. Do you want to go? Of course, but the new multi-hex theater opens tonight, and I promised I'd see a movie with daring. <laughs> but it should be easy finding someone. I mean, who wouldn't kill to be your plus one to the Blue Moon Forest Fest? <gasps> Looks like it's time to crash the biggest party ever after. I always oh, get to go to that <laughs> One large coffee thing with caramel stuff and some whip whatever on the house. And wouldn't you know, it's always been my biggest dream to go to a forest fest. Oh, well... I was hoping I could go. Wait, if you're here, then... <gasps> Wanted to pick me up, not to knock me over. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different ending. Sometimes you gotta find it on your own.